Man. For clarification, why her toilet water? <laughs> so that's how we're starting episode five of the Wiffle Statement podcast. So to my right, I have Andrew Orsino, <laughs> aka Fear the Tree, aka I don't know, That's, aka Stanford, aka Stanford, and to my left, I have Riker Holloway, aka uh, you know Rike, Rike Dog, Trash City, Rike City, nope. Rike City. <laughs> <laughs> not not another nickname that we're trying to destroy. <laughs> Okay, so I want to start like with backtracking, because you, Andrew, first started playing wiffle ball, like two years ago, right? Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen? I thought it was twenty sixteen. It was three years ago. I started when you, when I played at your old house. Was that twenty sixteen? No, because that picture of us is from two thousand sixteen. Yeah. Two thousand fifteen. Oh, okay. Well, if you go like far back on my channel. You'll you see. Find me. You'll find like these old videos of us playing in my old backyard. They're amazing. Me crushing bombs as like a three hundred pound twelve year old. <laughs> <laughs> and you like lobbing the mid, and you had like no concept or idea of what. Like, I was barely. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you having no idea how to hit. Because I'm pretty sure that like. Okay, that you didn't really play baseball before wiffle ball, did you? Yeah. Okay, so like wiffle ball started, and then you start playing baseball after. Yeah. Cause I played baseball. Well, I played baseball that one year with you. Okay, that doesn't count. It that doesn't. No. Okay, so you first started playing baseball like last year. Yes. Like really committed to it. Yes. Riker, on the other hand, you've been playing baseball for like. A long yeah since I was very little. Yeah, he has like probably the most baseball experience out of. How long have you been playing? Like. like Five or six years? Something like that. I've been playing. Well, it'll be like my 10th year this year. I, I, okay. Your 10th year? Yeah, because I started like, what, five? Like T-ball? Cool. And that 15 now, so yeah, that, that makes sense. Have you ever played wiffle ball before? Um, I, like before you, before with you? Yeah. No. I never even heard of wiffle ball. Blitz ball. I played, I was big in blitz ball, like when it first came out, and then I figured out wiffle ball, and I figured out that <laughs> blitz ball is just for... Blitz ball is trash. Yeah, and it's blitz. just for people who just want to curve it and don't have any skill. Yeah. Blitz ball, I think, it takes a significantly lower amount of skill. Well, you see, it takes, with wiffle ball, it, it's more like arm motion, grips, the way you throw it, and hitting is much harder, I think. Blitz ball, all you have to do is just lob it and it's going to do something. I feel like with blitz ball, it doesn't break as sharply as it does in wiffle ball. Yeah, and like swerve ball is just trash. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not even talk about swerve Wait, ball. What is swerve ball? You never even heard of swerve ball? It's like, it's pretty oh, like, yeah, it's I the off brand of blitz yeah. ball. And like you hit it one time and it just like dents. I feel bad because like you have wiffle ball, which is like king. You know, you have, you have jump ball. Did you ever play jump ball? Oh, I, I used to have a jump ball. ball. The ball with, like, the little ring around it. Yeah. Yeah. Those are really I'm cool. Okay. Wiffle ball's the best. Like, compared to... I don't know why. I don't know. Blitz ball's so popular now. Really? Blitz it ball is. is, like, like in the wiffle ball community, blitz ball is, like, the vlogging of the YouTube community. <laughs> like, all the blitz ball channels, they do, like, these stupid thumbnails where, like, they highlight everything and put the fire emoji everywhere. Wait. There are more blitz ball videos than there are, I mean, like, more blitz ball YouTube channels than there are wiffle ball. I'd say so. There's, like, there's a lot of blitz ball channels with thousands of subscribers. I, I think. think pretty much blitz ball is the new wiffle ball from, like, back then, I guess. Like, used, used to, kids used to, like, play with wiffle ball. Like, that was the backyard game. And I think now blitz ball is the backyard game. I don't know, it just kind of evolved. And it's, I don't know, I guess it's, it's much easier for kids to learn on a blitz ball than it is to wiffle ball. That's why I say wiffle ball takes much more skill. Wiffle ball is like, like I feel like down here though, you, know, you see a lot of blitz ball, but it's still up north, I think wiffle ball is way more popular. I think overall, wiffle ball has a much stronger community than blitz ball. You know, that, that kind of surprises me how there's not much leagues here. In the south? Yeah, in the south. It's like in Louisiana. There's, there's nothing to do. <laughs> no, there's nothing. No. Like, I mean, you know, this league keeps growing. Hopefully, we can have tournaments across the state. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go to Mississippi. Yeah. Yeah, our goal is, you know, to... 
pretty much own the South for wiffle ball. Yeah, we got to go play fast. Everyone. Like, like, okay, the big thing in the South is fast plastic. Where is that? It's in Texas. Yeah, that's like the they. Well, they just brought it back last year. It was like the pro wiffle ball tournament where like. It was a big thing, like the early. I think their last year was like in two thousand nine. Isn't that where Sean Steffi started? Yeah, he started out in fast plastic, and his team won the championship there last year. But like, but none of the teams there are really from Texas, though. Most of the teams that play in that tournament are from. I know there's a team from California, and most of the teams were people from Gold Stick and like New York and stuff. Yeah, I guess that wait. Yeah, wiffle ball kind of started up. Up yeah, there, the yeah. company started. Oh God, Connecticut. I should know Shelton, this. right? Shelton, Connecticut. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No. Shelton, because you look on the box. Oh, the Wiffle Company. Yeah, yeah. Wiffle and Corp and stuff. That they, yeah. Give me damn box. Look it up on YouTube. No. Yeah, box is right here. Oh, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have a box of Wiffle balls on my desk. It's not much Wait. Made in the U.S. Wait, wait. We won't find it, I swear. Shelton, Connecticut. Yeah, uh, that's what I figured. Because, like, most of, like, the big tournaments, like, Golden Stick and, like, uh, I don't know, Palisades, they're all in New York. Anyways. So, yeah. when, when we travel there, yeah. if anyone would like to take us to live in their house for a month, to play wiffle ball, I can wash my own clothes. Yeah, we'll wash your own clothes. <laughs> I, I can cook. I'll cook for y'all. Yeah, we'll eat ramen, a lot of ramen. To yeah, this. <laughs> yeah. Just... Well, speaking of like a legit offer to go over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd be down. <laughs> Ride on a Greyhound bus all the way up. Hell yeah. But like, yeah, and then there is one other league, and that'd be Texas wiffle ball. They're good. Te- the TWBL. They don't really have anything on YouTube, but they have an Instagram that's popping. <laughs> it, it, it's popping, boy. I don't follow them. Is mean, it, I, like, fast pitch, or is it, is it yard? They have, like, they have, like, the good old boy with the ball, where it's, like... Oh, I've heard of them. It, well, it's, like, you know, beer belly old guys, and they get those big bats and just try to crush it. It's, like, the men's softball, kind of, of wiffle ball. Yeah, I gotcha. And then, <laughs> and then they have, like, and then they have fast pitch, which is really competitive. So, which fast pitch is the name of the game of the football. So, wait, as far as pitching goes, I think us three collectively were the best pitchers. Well, yeah, I mean, we only had Justin and Sam. Oh, yeah, well, we had Grant, too. Oh, yeah, but Grant didn't really play much. Yeah, I think Grant's been playing a lot more next year. Shout out to Grant. Yeah, yeah Grant. <laughs> You're the man. Yeah, calls me down syndrome all the time. <laughs> <laughs> We love you. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Grant's going to be playing good for this summer. But, uh, so you had pitched, Riker had pitched in baseball for yeah. a good long time. Yeah, but I mean, wiffle ball is a whole nother game. Okay, like, yeah, because that's what I was going to ask you. Like, what was that like transferring like, into pitching a wiffle ball? So, I don't know, pitching, it's like you go into this wind up and stuff, and um, you, you take it very, you go in a rhythm. In wiffle ball, it's nothing like that. Like, you try to get the batter out of rhythm. So you're, like, coming up with these crazy wind-ups, you know, you know, faking out pitches. You know, <laughs> someone thinks that you're throwing a screwball. You're actually throwing a riser somehow. <laughs> and, like, I don't know. Just – it was it was, it was was fun, though. I like the transition. And, like, going from wiffle ball back to baseball, that was interesting. Uh, yeah, like, I right want – and, like, back in baseball – after playing wiffle ball for like a couple of days or like the whole summer, I wanted to throw the ball kind of sidearm, mm-hmm. and like you kind of have, and I throw usually throw overhand, and I kind of had to fix that, but I don't mind the transition. It was really fun, and now I'm learning more pitches and just getting better and better. I mean, you pitched like out of everyone last year, you pitched like seventeen games. Yeah, you? well, yeah, you I had noticed the most that. Thrown. Yeah, and I had like fourteen or something. How many did you have, Andrew? Like games pitched. No idea. I think you had like twelve. I had the second base DRA. Yeah, right. But but yeah, like I wanted to pitch. Like yeah. I I wasn't scared at all. I just like I wanted to. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think you said I didn't want to pitch. I mean like, I feel pitching is I don't know, it's fun like definitely like you watch a good pitcher in wiffle ball and they just can absolutely dominate. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, like, with our league, we use skinny bats, too, which we need to decide what we're going to use this year. So, pretty much, we bought... We bought a... What, what is it? The oh, yeah, the, the get that shit out of your bat. The GTSOH. Hell, yeah. <laughs> so, uh... It need, we need to decide, yeah. Because that's going to be, like, our tournament bat. Because, I don't know, how about you let your viewers decide, Ben, if we should yeah. use... If, yeah, okay. We're, we're going to put a poll on Instagram. Yeah, so... She'll comment even, what she wants us to use this year. Skinny bats or the... GTSOH. Or, yeah, exactly. or, or we can use other big barrel bats. Yeah, but, but, like, that's what we have right now. Because, like, the thing, like, with skinny bats, like, because our mound is, our carpet is 48 feet away, which is fast pitch distance. And basically everyone throws fast. Other yeah. Than, other than know, Justin. You know, I'm throwing gas out there. Yeah, you throw, yeah, ju- you yeah. throw like a Andrew, cannon. Yeah, Andrew, you're probably the fastest pitcher out of all of us. Yeah, but, you are. Yeah. Hey, Sean Steffi, come at me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a challenge? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, the thing like with skinny barrel bats and you're trying to hit it, like someone basically throwing fast pitch is like... We didn't have a single game with double double digit scoring, and most of our games were like two to nothing or two to one or you know three to nothing. You know, really low scoring games. I I mean that's good or bad. I mean I think pitchers duels are some of the most fun to watch. Yeah. What do y'all watch with football? I'll like on you, YouTube. I'll, I mean, like with you, I do. Like I I really watch our games. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really watch anyone else. Do you watch anyone? Uh. I watched MLW. Yeah. Okay, you know what, Kyle? You know, I you probably you probably might watch this. I don't know, but like, I know you get a lot of hate from this, but your field's kind of small. <laughs> I know you get a lot of hate from this, but like, I don't know. I mean, like, go to like a local park. <laughs> you know. Cause, cause you see, and you come play with us. Yeah. Cause yeah, you come down from Michigan. Yeah, bring your best team to Please. the south. <laughs> play, play in a hundred degree weather. Humidity. <laughs> yeah, humidity. I love how we're just calling everyone out now. Yeah. No, no, but really, Kyle, your, your videos are really good. Kyle. 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 Kyle Schultz. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. I, I feel like Kyle is going to be, like, one of the best wiffle ball pitchers in, like, a few... Because he's already, like... like you're, you're, you're a good pitcher, Kyle. I'll give you that. I'd love to face you. So if you ever want to come down here... Or I'll go up there. But not at, like, 30 feet away. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to move that back to, like, a good 48, you know. Yeah. But we'll, we'll hit off of you. Who, okay, who, who do y'all think? Let's talk about the Cobras. Oh. Because, all right, we when we, we were watching a World Series game, like, all three of us were together, and we saw, I don't, y'all know, I know their names, because that's me, Drew Davis and... I can't remember the number four. I can't remember the other one. But they hit a home run and they did the little cobra hand motion thing. Yeah, you see, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, see, that's it. like the worst no, thing. No, no. Shut up, baby. <laughs> that's the best thing ever. Please keep doing it. I do it whenever I can. I do it right now. Because <laughs> here's the thing. Me and Ben, like, we were going for the Mallards. I was the only one going for the Cobras. Yeah, and y'all blew it. Hey, you know what? <laughs> 2 0 lead. Get hey. Me and the Cobras versus you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if y'all are looking for a new player this summer, <laughs> Andrew will come up. Andrew's your guy. <laughs> we need to, like, have, like, because my favorite team to watch is the Predators. Your favorite team is the Mallards, right, to watch? The Mallards or the um, Western... No, wait. I don't even know the teams that well. Honestly. The Wildcats? I want to say... Is that the purple team? Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. Yeah, Kyle's team. Yeah, yeah Kyle. You're fun to watch. And Andrews is the Cobras because they have a stupid hand motion. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't know. I feel like with this, I don't know. Watching the Predators is going to be fun this year. See, like, one day, I don't know when this is going to happen, but one day, we'll, we'll, we're going to play y'all. And it's going to be a great day. We're going to meet halfway in, like, Missouri or something. <laughs> yeah. We're going to, like, be on the Lord. Or, you know, y'all can come down here, you know. You know. Yeah. Ga- gas money. Yeah, you know how hot it is down here compared to Michigan? 
I've never been to Michigan. You never looked. My dad it. has actually. Well, it was in like the winter time, so it was like negative something. <laughs> it, it was sick. It was kind of miserable, but like the humidity. Day. Well, why are we talking humidity. about weather? We should be talking about wiffle ball. We are talking about wiffle ball. Talking about the yeah, so I mean, it's like ninety percent humidity. Hundred percent of the time <laughs> in the summertime. So you got you got eighty for you got eighty degrees plus the humidity. Probably comes out to like ninety six. Yeah, ninety seven. Like you want to talk about playing in adverse conditions? You try playing football in Louisiana in the summer at like three o'clock in the afternoon. It's it's quite it's amazing. You like not really. You just want to die. You just want to kill yourself, basically. Like, like that one time that I threw that curveball at you. You need, if, okay. If, if you see that highlight, you can see how much sweat is on my shirt. <laughs> you only, if y'all have not watched, it's July 17th, right? It's in July. I think so. It's July 17th. In the second game, Right, the like I forget what the situation was, but Dude, Andrew was mad. Andrew was, was mad. You no, know, because he, because his team kept on making errors. Because <laughs> Justin, oh yeah, oh yeah, that was a funny day. But no, and then he like you, you can just see it in his it's face because like, you would walk a couple guys yeah. and like you just like rear back and throw the ball as hard <laughs> as you can and like, and, like somehow and Black was like smiling, coming up to me, you trying to kill me in the foot. Yeah, <laughs> and like Riker's like laughing, and Andrew just looks like he wants to murder everyone. Like sweat is just drenching down his shirt, and like he just has this fake look on his face like he wants to kill the world. <laughs> but no, I I think like the one thing like going into twenty eighteen that I'm excited for is that we actually have a way that we're gonna finish off the year this year instead of like just playing one more series and calling it quits. In 2019, here's a sneak peek for y'all into the future. In 2019, we might, like, establish teams. Yeah, like, solid teams. Kind of like, you know, we're all going to have teams. Like, maybe Andrew will have a team, I will have a team, Ben will have a team. And, like, because we're kind of like the, I, I guess we're the leaders. Of kinda. The, and you just, like, kind of expand it because I have people that want to come play. Some of our teammates from our baseball team want to come play. So, yeah. the league's ex- really expanding. Yeah, expect a lot of new faces this year. Exactly. But, like, uh, like this year we want to finish it out with uh, an end-of-the-year tournament, like a little championship bracket. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take, like, the four best players, and, like, players are going to get ranked. Like, they'll get a point for, like, like, they'll get points, like, based on home runs they hit, like, ERA they have, and stuff like that. And then... Um, they all <laughs> damn it I'm trying to talk and then with, they're gonna and then we're gonna set up an, those four players are gonna pick teams based on that and then we're gonna set up an end of the year tournament championship hey I, I think would be a good idea is I know we we kept on doing it just like never worked out but we really need to do a home run derby like for real like yeah with, with, and with the new bat I think that that would be really fun. We could do what we did last year and do it like around July fourth. Yeah, because that's like halfway through the summer. And, uh, and like, what do you think about an all? If we get another, like, we probably will, but like, let let the viewers decide. Like an all star game, like a two on two all star game. You, you got the best four players. That would be pretty cool. Actually. I think that would be fun. And we have because I like this year with YouTube and everything. I think we're like the wiffle ball wiffle statement is going to be gaining a lot of subscribers, and. Instagram, follow us. At SP Whiffs, follow us, please. <laughs> I think, um. Hey, I came up with the name. Did you really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I did. He actually has access to the account. Yeah, I do. Do you really? Yeah. You know. Sick. So if you ever, like, see anything <laughs> I'm like highly inappropriate that comes up on SP Whiffs, you'll know where it came from. But, uh, like, if there are, like, that's the thing. I feel like with this channel, like, there's gonna be a lot more viewership. Because, like, last year. Like, every single... Like, our series averaged, like, 300 views. Like, I, I think for everything. But, like, if this year it goes... It doubles or whatever, then we're probably gonna get, like, a lot more viewer input. And then you can have people pick for the All-Star game. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, yeah, the, the game... Like, Silver more Park's gonna be fun. We have some new stuff coming to the field. Something to say. I gotta do this. Hi, Mom. I know you're watching this. I love you. Um... Shout out, shout out to Tina. Yeah, shout out to Miss Tina. Miss Tina's that. probably like one of our biggest fans. I think. <laughs> like, it's she's a legend. We need to interview her. <laughs> she <laughs> should <laughs> go play. Yeah, she should go like. If y'all ever see like Miss Tina, like in the comments, 
Go like comment, like reply to her comment and tell her hi. <laughs> she's amazing. Yeah. She she's awesome. Uh, before okay, I think like we're at, like twenty two minutes. We didn't really have a plan for this. We were just like we're gonna sit down and talk. I'm sorry this podcast is coming out late too. There were we were, we I wanted to do this for a while, but like. It was kind of hard to get two people together. To and baseball's board. been really hectic lately. We've been having back-to-back games, and it's been really hard to really sit down and talk yeah. all together. Yeah, that's another, like, school plus, like, baseball has been busy lately. Once, like, baseball starts to wind down, then a lot more wiffle ball is coming out. Yep, for sure. So, that's to get excited for. Maybe we can get a video or something of baseball. To see that prove that we actually do play baseball on occasion. Yeah, I mean either hitting a dinger or striking out looking. So this is what Aunt Ben plays left field. I'm a pitcher and second baseman. Andrew is first, first base. First base. And we all start varsity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, we are we are made. We're, we're we were three and zero, oh, and then we lost twice to. Some school that's really aggravating. A school us. we hate, yeah. But it's kind of like our rivals. Yeah, we won. Yeah, if you, if you're none of them are listening to this, but y'all can go kill yourselves. <laughs> Yo, not like your yeah, viewers. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. viewers are amazing, hey, but that school number nine. Yeah, you come play us. I like in the face with a screwball. <laughs> you like her in the face twice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Today we Good were playing boy. some wiffle ball. Andrew throws a screwball. Hits me right in the face. <laughs> it was amazing. It was great. <laughs> if you wanted to see that screwball, you can follow us on SP Whiffs. Well, and... that's Matt's screwball. Yeah, that's, it. that's Riker's screwball. I've been working on the screwball a lot. And if you want to see Riker actually pitching games, this summer, or all of us playing games, and the commentary content and everything on Whiffle Statement, you should subscribe here. <laughs> I'm going to end the podcast because I think Andrew has to go pee. I really have to pee. All right. So, so you got, y'all want to say goodbye to everyone? Goodbye. See ya. That was awkward. See ya. <laughs> oh, uh, um, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Get me to 400 followers. Um, At the athlete, formerly known as Tree. <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's good. See, see you guys on the next video. <laughs> Wiffle statement coming at you. <laughs>